Hi, welcome back to Talk of the Town. The Penn Center, located on St. Helena Island, is an organization designed to promote and preserve the history and culture of the Sea Islands. On April 30th at the Senesta Resort, they will be celebrating the 1862 Circle Gala. Here to share more, Director of Development, Victoria Smalls, and Mary Mack, Board Trustee Member. Welcome to the show. Oh, well, thank you for having yeah. us. So, talk a little bit about the 1862 Circle. The 1862 Circle is a wonderful and annual event. We're in our 13th year and we induct people of a national significance, local and regional significance that speak to the vision and the mission of Penn Center. And we're so very happy that the Board of Trustees has brought this on as a major fundraiser for Penn Center, which is a nonprofit organization. And who are some of the members of the 1862 Circle? Well, there are a large number of members of some of the people, the late Pat Conroy, the artist mm -hmm. Jonathan Green, Vernon Jordan, mm -hmm. uh, the actor uh, Felicia Rashad. Absolutely. Uh, some of the members. Mm -hmm. And then we also have um, Congressman John Lewis, mm -hmm. Congressman Clyburn. We have um, our local Hilton Head Islanders, um, Dr. Emery Campbell and Thomas Barnwell, and also Mary Mack is one of our 1862 members. So, um, who will be inducted to the 1862 Circle at this year's gala? We have three inductees this year. Robert Bobby Middleton, he's a St. Helena Island native. He's been a 16-year docent of our York W. Bailey Museum at Penn Center. We also have Dr. Elijah Washington, mm -hmm. who has devoted 40 years of his life to um, medicine, being a physician of obstetrics and gynecology. And we also have Anita Prather Singleton, who's better known as Aunt Pearly Sue. Yes. Yeah. So um, who are Leroy and Corinne Brown and Jonathan oh, yeah. Francis and Jonathan Francis Sr. And, and what else can attendees expect at the years, this year's 1862 Circle Gala? Uh, Leroy and Corinne Brown are being inducted in memoriam, as is Jonathan Francis. Uh, they were community activists uh, Penn, Penn School graduates mm -hmm. uh, who collectively devo devoted like 50 years of their life to serving Penn mm -hmm. Center. Leroy Brown was one of, was the first African American elected to public office in the South uh, and his wife Corinne uh, Brown was the start the first Head Start program in yeah. the, the state of South Carolina. Mm -hmm. And um, so what can we see at the at the 1862 oh. Circle Gala? It's going to be incredible. It's going to be an incredible event. We have over 500 attendees. Wow. And we start off with a reception, a pre-gala reception, and a silent auction filled with a lot of art. We have um, donated um, by uh, Diane Britton Dunham. She donated the, uh, allowed us to use the Songs of Zion, the image that represents um, our featured art this year. Yes. And But we have a lot of artists that have donated pieces, as well as the Red Piano 2 Art Gala gallery artists on St. Helena Island and Mary Mack have been the biggest donors of art and items for this island auction. Then we move into a formal dinner mm -hmm. and induction ceremony. And it's at the Senesta. It's going to be at the Senesta Resort here on Hilton Head Island and all are welcome. We invite you to come and attend. And so um, how can viewers learn more? Are there also sponsorship opportunities? Oh, well, definitely sponsorship opportunities. You can um, give starting at $2,500 as a sponsor all the way up. And we definitely would like to thank Lipman Family Farms on St. Helena Island as being our major sponsor this year. And then there's ways that you can make a reservation by contacting us at Penn Center or going on our website. And the, you, you mentioned that this is your largest fundraiser. It is. Okay, and so what are you trying to, what are your goals with, you know, doing the fundraiser? Well, our goal is with the money that is d uh, coming from the right, gala donated, right. is used to run our, our public programs. We have event programs like our Culture Keepers programs for youth, and we offer free workshops to learn traditional and contemporary Gullah Geechee art forms at Penn Center. We have, uh, we want to bring back our after school programs and just things that are teaching and educating people about the Gullah culture and Penn School. And the Sea Islands. And the beautiful Sea Islands that we're, we yeah. have here. That's wonderful. We'll have all that information on the screen of how people can obtain tickets. Absolutely. And thank you so much for joining us <laughs> thank today. You. Thank you thank for you. having Absolutely. us. Absolutely. And we will be right back with Talk of the Town.